Our politics has been consumed by the border crisis and the Russia probe, but many candidates in the midterm races are actually trying to break through with their own messages, some succeeding, like Texas Democrat MJ Hagar, a combat veteran who explains how many doors she's had to fight in opening them for her career. This creative ad looks like it spans decade in a single take. It now has gone viral with over two million views. And that success addresses one of the big hurdles for any new candidate, name recognition. Take this ad in Maryland, which goes after that issue, by trolling Trump on the topic of same-sex marriage. I believe in public schools, not vouchers. Take that, Trump, and Betsy DeVos. Yeah! And what's the number one way I piss off Donald Trump and the Republicans? Take that, Trump. Now, those are both heartfelt biographic ads. Another candidate may have overdone it by trying to break through with a movie reference, a little Top Gun fan fiction. Planned Parenthood and Obamacare you voted against. You've lost that centrist feeling because you've been right wing appealing. No spoilers, but the voters will get to decide if that works. And now we've saved the most bizarre for last. This is a Colorado Democrat who decided to pepper spray himself on camera in this literally painful ad. This will stop anyone in their tracks. It's incredibly painful. For less than $1 per person in the U.S., we can have a secured canister of pepper spray in every classroom in America. We checked, and that candidate told us he stands by the ad. The idea was to show an alternative to guns in schools. But if your ad displays questionable judgment, the voters could grade you down. Now, the comedy hosts Jesus and Mero offered their take on that ad. Yo, the Democrats might actually lose the next election if y'all do a <laughs> like this. So, homies maced and then waterboarded himself <laughs> in order to get your vote? All right. Damn, he took the Obama poster and just, like, doubled it? Like... Levi didn't put a lot of work into this. Now, we've all heard the line that any press is good press, which is true enough for people who just want press. It's not true in every midterm campaign. And now the voters in Colorado have to decide if someone wants to be in Congress so badly, they will pepper spray themselves for it. Do you want that person in Congress? Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here. Or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. And we appreciate that.